everyone, it's Fabi here and this is gonna be my first ever video in this channel. I also have a channel with Ariel but in this channel, I will be talking about university life and student life and to me, it's just like life in general but more on the serious stuff. One, two, three, fuck it! A year ago, I started my university, which means it's my first year and um, I go to University of Calgary and I major in Biological Sciences. I don't know if I'm gonna specialize. So I really hoped that um, there was someone from the University of Calgary who like made a video about the things that I should know. There were lots of articles and videos about getting ready for university, but it was all about um, other universities like Mount Kiel University, uh, Harvard, and I just thought that like I think I needed like a more specific one. I was searching so hard for one, I was looking so hard and trying my best to look for one but there was nothing and that was just sad. I didn't like that and so I decided to do this and just I just want to help y'all. Y'all might think that this is kind of early to prepare for university but I'm telling you, it's never too early or too late for anything. If you thought about it, just do it. One thing that I got to know my school before was through going to the orientation. I could not emphasize this en enough but going to the orientation helped me so much because they give tours and they also give tips because they're gonna divide you in groups and you're gonna have leaders that would guide you all throughout the orientation and then chances are that those um, leaders are gonna be fourth year or third year student and they sure know a lot about the school and the tips and tricks that might be really helpful for you guys and so I went to my orientation and through that I got to know almost all the um, all the buildings in University of Calgary and that is just so 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 helpful right and yeah it was it was good good times also um, I just remembered that during the orientation that's the time that you should be making friends especially if you're an international student just go there and make some friends and you never know if those friends are gonna be your best friends after the after one year or so. In fact, those friends that I met during the rotation are still my friends till now. So, hello. That's just like a good opportunity to look for friends because everybody's looking for for friends. There's probably just like twenty percent of them who knew each other already. But, and that's fine, who cares about that? It's university, new life, it's your first year, go make some new friends. Get your UPass and ID a week before your class is started, or maybe during your orientation. Because after that, it's gonna get so crowded and you don't wanna be wasting half an hour just lining up and waiting for that UPass and ID. You don't wanna do that to yourself. Also, for those ones, who want to go to University of Calgary, they have this room finder app which is called Interactive Room Finder app, I think. I never downloaded it. But yeah, so it helps because you can look for specific rooms. Because I did not download it before, I got lost so many times. And you don't want to be late for classes just because you don't know where those rooms are, right? For me, I had a really bad experience about scheduling because I didn't do it ASAP. And so my tip for you is to do it as soon as you can. So um, obviously the enrollment for classes are going to happen during your high school. Mine opened around April 28th, I think. They sent me an email saying that the enrollment for classes are opened but I didn't do it. I did mine two months after that which means that almost all of the classes or almost all the good schedules are gone. They were just all filled up. And so yeah, I had a really bad 
semester that time because I didn't, I didn't like my schedule. Also, since it's going to be your first time doing the schedule for college, depending on your school, I think it will be kind of um, challenging to do the enrollment because you don't really know how the schedule builder would work. So just take time to work with it, play with it and until you feel like you're already an expert and do your schedule as soon as you can. Just do it. Please, I'm begging you, just do it. For University of Calgary, you are actually allowed to take three or four classes instead of the required five courses or the recommended five courses. I didn't know that when I did my schedule. I was like, huh, I'm gonna take five courses because I can do that. But nope. Like, I wasn't expecting that it would be that hard to take five courses. For those of you who would want to take five courses, that's good for you. You're a genius and I am proud of you. I love that for you. But for me, it was just so challenging. Also, if you would like me to do a video about enrollment, making schedule in University of Calgary, just comment down below or send me a message because I would really like to help you guys. 8 a.m. class is too early. Except if you have no choice, if like they only offer that class on an 8 a.m. Second, except if you live nearby. If you live really, really close to your school, that's okay. But if you live like an hour away, don't do it. I mean, of course it's up to you, but I would highly recommend not to do that to yourself because that would mean you'd have to wake up by around 5 a.m or 6 a.m. depending depending on how long it's gonna take you to prepare yourself as except if you are a morning person if you really like to wake up early do it do it for yourself because I know for a fact that morning people actually really like to start their day really early and end it really early as well because they are more productive in the mornings than in the afternoon there were three types of funding that I got to use for scholarship and the bursary and loan. Um, scholarship and bursary are basically free money, but the only difference is that for a scholarship, they kind of like require you to do something in return, I guess. Like for say, you can only be eligible if you do volunteering or you do great in sports or that you have really high grades, they're gonna give you free money because of that. But for bursary, the only requirement would be that you belong to the low income. Say the low income cutoff for the family of four would be $30,000 annually. That's like combined, that's the combined um, income of your parents. I'm not too sure. There are organizations that are gonna give you bursaries because you are not rich. And that's a very helpful thing. I actually got um, one burst, or no, I actually got a couple bursaries just because I belong to that cutoff. Isn't that great? Thank you so much for the organizations that recognize those people who would like to go to university but don't have the money. You guys are a blessing. Thank you so much. Third type was um, to get a loan or a student loan. I don't know for other countries, but for um, college, uh, for Canada, they would actually lend you some money just so you could go to university. But you would have to apply every year, I believe. I'm gonna do another video about fundings and scholarship and bursaries and loans. So I can't emphasize it enough, this enough. And this is also kind of a hypocritical because I haven't really been involved. I have but not too much. Join clubs and then register for activities, stuff like that. I don't have a club, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I have a club. Actually, I have a club. It's called WISE. It's like a club for women who are interested with math. I know. I'm there. Yeah. I paid their membership fee. I still have their card. I'm not sure why, but I think, no, I think it was when they actually advertised that they offer free math review sessions for for their members. And so I was like, that's me. I need, I need tutors for math. And 
And so I was like, why not pay $5 for a year of review session? Make friends. They are such angels. If you have friends, good for you. I love that for you, 100%. I'm proud of you, girl. Because first, if you have friends, chances are they are in the same faculty as yours, right? And so if they are in the same faculty as yours, you're gonna be in the same classes on your first year especially. And so you can ask for notes if you weren't able to take any. And then plus you can hang out with them and like just like send them a message and be like, hey, you wanna hang out with me? I've been, I've been feeling really down. And so if you have friends, they just like make everything better. Um, that's no joke. And I'm so lucky that I joined so many groups before university started. And so I have met so many amazing friends that I could just like hang out with and ask them about lessons, ask them for notes. And thank you Lord for that. I'm just so thankful I have, I, I can call them my friends. So that's gonna be the end of this video. If you have any more questions about university, just comment down below or send me a message. I would love that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.